In this video, I will be ranking the best scenes of the Star Wars sequel trilogy starting at number 12 and working our way down to first place. Now it should go without saying that in choosing 12 scenes from 3 movies which contain hundreds of scenes apiece, there will be plenty of great sequences that don't make the cut. But this is what I feel is the proper ranking of the controversial sequel trilogy's greatest moments. And so, without any further delay, we kick this list off at number 12 with Kylo Ren's pull to the light. In the first half of The Force Awakens, Kylo Ren is portrayed as a heartless individual who will stop at nothing in his quest for greater power. But it is in this scene that we see for the first time Kylo's internal struggle with the light side of the Force, as he begs his late grandfather Darth Vader to show him the power of the darkness and to help him become what Snoke has convinced him he is meant to be. This scene is not only a pivotal moment in the development of the character of Kylo Ren, but it also gives a nod to the legacy of Darth Vader, as his presence still manages to loom over the saga long after his death. Number 11, Rey's Vision. Now, I'm primarily referring to The Force Awakens here when Anakin's lightsaber calls to Rey and then triggers a massive Force Vision, but the way that they tied that scene in with her vision in Episode 9 was very cool and you could sort of view those scenes as one and the same. But just focusing on the one in episode 7, it begins as Rey hears voices calling her from the basement of Maz Kanata's castle, and she is of course slowly guided to Anakin's lightsaber, and as she touches it her surroundings begin to shift and she sees things from both the past and the future, while also hearing voices of some of the Jedi of the past like Yoda and Obi-Wan. I felt that this moment took a very unique and interesting approach to the Force and really created a lot of intrigue around Rey's character and so I thought that was a really cool moment and that's why it makes this list. Moving on to number 10, The Last Jedi Force Bond, more specifically the Hut scene. Now this is the first moment in my opinion where the perception of Kylo Ren really started to shift because the feeling after this scene is sort of like okay so Kylo really isn't a bad guy. Rey and Kylo reason with each other, both of them offering their support and assuring the other that they're not alone. You're not alone. Neither are you. And then they are able to not only see each other across space, but to physically touch each other as well. And finally, Luke races down the mountain, breaks up the interaction, defends himself from Rey as she attacks him, and it's here that we finally learn the truth about Ben Solo's fall to the dark side, where Luke reveals that it was his fault that Ben turned when he did. And now Ben pretty much instantly turns from a ruthless, egotistic villain to really a tragic victim with no way out. So there's a whole lot going on this scene where a bunch of new revelations are made in a short amount of time, but I think they all work pretty well. The acting in this scene is great, and I actually really like what Ryan Johnson did there. But moving down the list to number 9, another Last Jedi moment, Luke and Yoda. The build up to this scene was long awaited, it was slow, and for some it was painful to watch. But when the moment finally came, it did not disappoint. Yoda returns just moments after Luke finally opens himself back up to the Force, daring Luke to burn down the Force tree and then doing it himself. He lectures his old Padawan for allowing the same flaws he had on Dagobah to cloud his vision now. And finally, Luke is convinced to return and attempt to right his wrongs in the only way he can at this point. Number 8. Kylo Seeks Darth Sidious now, this is actually two scenes meshed into one, as the Rise of Skywalker opens with Kylo Ren destroying the Sith Loyalists in front of Vader's castle on Mustafar, retrieving the Sith Wayfinder, and then traveling immediately to Exegol. He searches for Darth Sidious, who proudly reveals that he has been tormenting Kylo his entire life, speaking to him, manipulating his surroundings, and pulling the strings from the shadows from the very beginning. Kylo finally locates Palpatine and agrees to kill Rey to become the next Sith Emperor. Of course, we come to learn that this is not Kylo's intention at all, but this sequence is not only one of the more epic scenes in the saga, just based on the visuals and the action, but also for the information Kylo gathers from Palpatine, and the implications that has on his character's journey not only for his future, but also for every decision that has led him to this point. Okay, now number 7 is kind of tricky because the way the scene ends is really disappointing, but everything leading up to that is amazing. And the moment I'm referring to, of course, is Ben saving Rey. 
The build up to this moment was fantastic, and the way Ben gives his life force to save Rey after she did the same for him is very poetic. Uh, the Raylo kiss is cool because the tension throughout the trilogy had kind of been building up to this moment for so long, and then Rey just lets her emotions pour out as Ben Solo finally returns. And this whole scene has a major tie-in for the entire saga as a whole, as Ben finishes his grandfather's journey by saving the ones he loves from death, just as Anakin had vowed to do before he turned to the dark side. So that's all just very beautiful and I think that it was an awesome way to wrap up the story. Number 6, Luke Skywalker's Return. I want every gun we have to fire on that man. Now, this moment could have been a lot better and would have been far more well accepted by the fans if Luke had returned in the flesh. But that doesn't change the fact that this move by Luke had a massive impact on the story and still made for an epic scene in which the last Jedi returned for one last battle to face down the entire First Order and allow the Resistance to escape. In that moment, Luke fulfilled his final purpose as the spark that would light the fire that did burn the First Order down. And now we move into the top five with the scene directly preceding Ben Solo's sacrifice, Rey versus Darth Sidious. And I... I'm all the Jedi. Could this have been even better? Yes. They could have included the force ghosts of Anakin, Luke, Yoda, Obi-Wan, and whoever else standing behind Rey as she fought her grandfather, and that would have made this scene even better. But that doesn't mean this fight was bad by any stretch of the imagination. Rey's final push to stand back up and face the ultimate Lord of the Sith through the power of all the Jedi was another really cool way to bring the saga full circle. And this was set up pretty nicely earlier on when we saw Rey struggling to hear the voices of all the Jedi when she was training with Leia. So I mean, yeah, there are some people who didn't like this scene, mostly just because they thought it could have been better, but that doesn't mean it shouldn't make the list. Just like with the last one, this one had the potential to be higher, but it isn't because of the potential that was left on the table. Next up, what is widely regarded as the best scene of The Last Jedi, and what I consider to be one of the best scenes in all of Star Wars, The Throne Room. Every second of this entire sequence, from Snoke effortlessly manhandling Rey, to Kylo killing Snoke, to Rey and Kylo teaming up to face the Praetorian Guards, is just awesome. And that's all that really needs to be said. The mind trick that Kylo pulls on Snoke is amazing, and the entire scene does so much for the progression of Rey and Kylo's relationship, and whether you love or hate this movie, I don't think you'll find many people who would tell you that this is not a great scene. Now at number 3, what has become one of the more controversial scenes of the sequels, Rey uses the Force. And controversial or not, this is one of the most epic scenes in Star Wars, period. From the moment Rey pulls the lightsaber right past Kylo's face all the way to the end of their duel, this scene stands out as one of the most iconic moments in this trilogy, and also what I would consider to be the most exciting scene of The Force Awakens. I know a lot of people have voiced their complaints about this scene, because they think Kylo Ren should have smoked Rey in this duel, and they don't like how powerful she was with little to no training. But there are legitimate explanations for those complaints, which I have made videos on, and I'll link some of them in the description in case anyone's interested interested. The only problem I have, or not even so much a problem, but more so just a wish, is that a line that was written in the novelization but cut from the movie had been included on screen. And that is that when Rey pulls the lightsaber, Kylo turns and says, it is you. I think the inclusion of that line really does a lot for Rey and Kylo's story in the big picture, so I wish we could have gotten that, but again, the movie's fine without it, and that just would have made it even better. On to number two, father and son. Ben Solo had what was arguably the best story arc in the entire Skywalker saga, and his redemption scene between him and his father is, in my opinion, the most emotional scene in all nine movies. Now, I understand that the feeling may not be the same for everybody because a lot of people simply don't like the sequels, and thus Ben Solo's story may not resonate with them. But for those who do enjoy these movies, like myself, Adam Driver's performance in this scene, coupled with the manner in which Ben's return to the light is written here, this is a phenomenal scene loaded with overwhelming emotion and obviously holding massive implications for the entire saga. This interaction, which is manifested purely by Ben's imagination, allows him to reconcile his greatest mistake in a moment that feels very real to him. 
he's able to finally face his greatest weakness once more, to make the decision he wishes he had made the first time, and it finally grants him the acceptance he longed for from his parents. Couple this with the fact that his mother had just given her life to save him, and that Rey not only just saved his life, but also admitted to her desire to join him, and Ben Solo's vision becomes very clear, as the road back to happiness finally lights up before him. And now at number one, the best scene of the sequel trilogy by far, a scene that had me more excited than I've probably ever been while watching a movie, Ben Solo's return, or perhaps more appropriately named, a dyad in the force. I don't think this one even needs an explanation, but I'm gonna give one anyways. Not only was this the best action scene of the entire trilogy, as Ben Solo seems to adopt a new, more electrifying fighting style upon his return to the light, but the meaning that this sequence holds for the characters and the story is truly immeasurable. We certainly won't ever forget the lightsaber handoff performed by Ben and Rey, which was one of the coolest maneuvers we've ever seen. And then you add to that Ben's Han Solo-esque shoulder shrug and his no-look blaster shot, Rey's realization that Ben has finally come back for her, Palpatine finally finding out that they are the prophesized dyad in the Force. This scene was simply a work of art, and I could not have been happier with how it was acted out on screen. And with that being said, this is going to conclude my ranking, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. Of course, as I stated in the beginning, there are plenty of great scenes that did not make the cut, and I'm sure a lot of you would have included some of them on your own list. But that's the beauty of a story as big and as detailed as Star Wars. Everyone formulates their own opinions, which may be drastically different than the next person's, and that's awesome, because there is no right or wrong answer. But that's all I've got for you guys today, so I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked today's content, please drop the video a like as it really does help me out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and as usual, may the force be with you always.